Hi. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> All right, is this good? I'm good. Okay. Hi, my name is Becca Human, and I'm Jenna. We are seniors at Gretna High School. Where are you? Hi. <laughs> this poem is called Young Adult Lit. Welcome to the world of young adult lit. A population of two. Girl A, the protagonist, hopelessly in love with the boy. Girl B, the antagonist, the one who knows how to get the boy, who wears lipstick and leggings and luxury drips from her every word. She's perfect. Probably beautiful, probably skinny. Probably average in all other aspects. She I am the other, other girl. girl. And, and then there's, there's me, her. the new girl, the underdog, the one who's above everything the other girl stands for. No makeup, no hairstyle. I sit in the corner and read and dream and hope that someday I won't be invisible. But maybe if you'd make an effort, people would notice you more. And I deserve that boy because of course... He's not a person, he's a prize. As much as I want and wish and whine... He'll always come back to me. It becomes less about the boy and more about the other girl. This, this is what the author wants. The author pits girl against girl. The author slut shames. The, the author, author makes us pick a side and it works. This is the rise of the, the nerd, nerd girl. girl. Fear it. And unlike the pages of young adult lit, it's, it's anything, anything but, but fictional. Because the most contagious words are ideas. They grow straight out of the pages into real life. This, this is, is young, young adult, adult misogyny. misogyny. Building some girls up by tearing others down. Forcing competition in compliance with society's conditions for, for female, female excellence. excellence. Telling girls they aren't good enough unless they break the mold. Telling girls they're not strong enough if they like the things that, that make them, them happy. happy. So we give in. We mock Ugg boots and scarves. And coach bags and boy bands. And, and florals, florals and, and leggings and Starbucks. Starbucks like the mainstream is a disease. Like liking is wrong unless you, you like the, the right, right things. things. Just once I want the villain of their story to be not, not like, like other girls. girls. Watches Doctor Who and drinks tea. Unlike other girls. Wears cardigans, writes poetry. Unlike other girls. Listens to indie music. Unlike other girls. Other girls way more pink but this girl wears black. And has a hand-me-down car. And isn't classically beautiful but there's just something about her that makes her different from all, all these, these other, other girls. girls. Give me a villain that's real. Give me a villain who's so self-assured in her insecurity that she'll, she'll never see the opposition, opposition coming. coming. Give me the rise of the every girl. And every girl who is comfortable in her own skin, who likes what she likes. And doesn't have to change who she is to, to feel, feel like, like she'd fit in with a young adult novel. novel. Because I'm sick and tired of telling girls that they have to hate each other. So if, like us, you're waiting for a girl who is like other girls, don't, Don't hold, hold your breath. breath. Because until someone steps forward to be the author who's, who's not, not like, like other authors, authors, I have a feeling we'll be waiting for, for a, a very, very long time. time.